So the last time that I used Pika Labs was back in March, 2024. They were the first video generator to release a lip sync feature. And since then, Pika have been quiet. I know they released the Pika 1.5 model, but to be honest, I didn't even think it was worth trying. But Pika have been cooking and they just released this new 2.0 model, which comes with this new feature called Scene Ingredient. It essentially allows you to upload a combination of images consisting of a character, a setting, or even an object, and then generating them into one scene. Anyway, let's have a closer look. First things first, you need at least the pro plan to use the 2.0 model, okay? Now the interface still looks the same. It's only a few adjustments that have been made. So at the top here, you can actually click on templates and it gives you a bunch of options to try. So let's click on this one. When you click use template, what it does down at the bottom here, it pre-populates the prompt and even the actual character. So let's get rid of this character and let's upload an image of me. So. The image that I'm gonna use is just a head-on image. So I'll just use this one, boom, and let's click generate. And here's the video, it's me flying in the sky. And I just wanna start off by saying that this is just one image of me. This is not a trained model. And the fact that it was able to produce something so consistent with what I look like is actually quite shocking at how good this is. Now here's one of me and my friend at the cinema and even this came out extremely well. Like that literally is my head and that's my friend's head as well. And I just wanna clear one thing, that's my friend. Don't try and twist anything, all right? <laughs> then I tried one of me and Elon. You know what, Ugh, Did this one's not helping my cause either. Did we have to lock eyes like that? Like <laughs> I did one of me and Donald Trump yeah, look, to be honest, the one of Donald Trump doesn't really come out too well. Now, this one wasn't actually a template. This one I just wrote walking into a bar and I just uploaded the image of myself. So this one was actually quite good as well. Now, this is actually my favorite one. It's one of Elon and Sam Altman, and they both came out extremely well. And the timing of this is actually great because right now, uh, Elon and Sam are actually having a massive feud. Uh, open AI is like posting about Elon. Elon's using the government to slow them down. So um, it was just perfect timing. Here's one of me eating popcorn. Yep, look, you know what? That actually came out extremely well. Now I actually ran out of credits really quickly, which to be quite fair, it actually pissed me off a little bit because I hadn't even had a chance to generate an actual scene of a character. So I was actually very disappointed in that. But shout out to this user on X that demonstrated the model's capabilities. He's got the character, he's got this trophy, and he's even got the setting as well. And look at the scene that it generated. That is insane. It's so consistent as well. Then Pierrick also gave it a try and he'd done one very similar. He's got the character, the Starbucks coffee and at Starbucks. And look what it was able to generate. That is insanely good. Pierrick did another one. He's got this guy drinking a beer and uh, he's next to that motorbike. All of that came out good. This one was pretty cool. I like it. Ashutosh, he's uh, watching football with uh, Messi on the couch. This one's uh, awesome. Shout out to John Finger on this one. And, and one thing I want to point out, have a look at the text on the shirt. Literally, it's, it's not like that's pretty consistent as well. So great work on that one. Then we got Blaine Brown. He uh, did Santa, look at, look at the shirt again. And then here's one of him. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, that <laughs> it zooms in on the fire, but yeah, extremely, extremely good. This one's kind of cool by Alex. He's got the lion and the sports car and it came out pretty cool. I like it. So what are my final thoughts on Pika 2.0? Pika have literally been cooking this up for months. And I can tell you right now, this is a 10 out of 10. The only thing I don't like is the cost and the amount of credits that you get. And I get why they're doing it. But if they were able to reduce that cost, I would love to attempt to generate a scene with one character. And I think it would actually come out significantly well. But right now, even if you selected the $95 plan, it gives you about 6,000 credits. They would, <laughs> you would run out of credits very quickly. So. It's just not viable to use this tool at the moment, in my opinion. But that's it for the video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.